it's Katie here and welcome to another viewers toys video this is going to be from the month of October I've already picked these books out of my TBR jar so I'm really excited to reveal them to you but then the rest is going to be up to you all you have to do is pick one book out of the four that I'll mention that you would like me to read and review for the month of October so here are the books I'm just going to say what they are and a little bit about them we have Will Grace and Will Grace them by John Green and David Leverton I have read a book by John Green before and that was The Fault in Our Stars and it was absolutely amazing I loved it but I've yet to read a book by David Leverson although I have heard he is just as good so put two awesome authors together surely they're going to create a masterpiece who knows but this is about two strangers that cross paths they're teenagers with the same name and they're running in two very different circles and they suddenly find that their lives are going in new and unexpected directions culminating in heroic turn of heart and the most epic musical ever to grace the high school stage so it does sound really, really good. Book number two is The Splendor Falls by Rosemary Clement Moore. I have had this book for quite a while. I don't know why I haven't got around to reading it yet, but this is about Sylvie. Her father's death has broke her heart and her mother's remarriage has broke her spirit. Her broken leg ended her career as a ballerina. She has lost so much. Is she losing her mind as well? Sean is the resident golden boy, the one everybody thinks that Sylvie should be with and the obvious choice. Reese is handsome and mysterious and has a hold on Sylvia that she doesn't quite understand. A heroine who will steal your heart, a house that will haunt you, a love story that will leave you breathless, these splendour fools. So, it does sound really interesting. And then we have High Society by Ali Carter, this is the first book in the High Society series and I have had really really great things about this series and this is about Katerina Bishop, when she was three her parents took her to the Louvre to case it. For her 7th birthday, Katerina and her uncle travelled to Austria to steal the crown jewels. When Kat turned 15, she conned her way into the best boarding school in the country, determined to leave the family business behind. But now her dad's life is on the line, and Kat must go back to the world she tried hard to escape. So, it does sound really good, and yeah. So, the last book that I'm going to mention is this one. It is The Last Vampire, but it's a bind up of the first two books, which is The Last Vampire and Black Blood. And it says here, for 5,000 years, Elisa Pern has been living among and off humans. Elisa hunts alone, thinking nobody knows her secret, but someone is stalking her and someone wants her dead. An ancient evil, the first vampire, has returned. Elisa knows that she is responsible for his very existence, and so she must be the one to end his reign of slaughter. And this is by Christopher Pike. So there you have it, guys. These are the four books that are mentioned for my viewer's choice. As I say, just pick one book out of the four that are mentioned and leave it in the comment box down below. And then I'll give it a week or so. I will add all the votes up and I will then reveal to you the book that will be my viewer's choice book for the month of October. So happy voting, guys. I hope you are having a fantastic day. As always, I love you all and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!